Right, hello folks. I uh, just finished filming one lot of 70 golf balls. Now I'm going to film another 70. For those of you that don't want to watch a video that's going to end up being about 25, 26 minutes long, I'm just going to do a very quick pass over what is in this video. For those of you with a short attention span or just not that interested, you're going to get a very quick view. Okay, that's what's going to be in this video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up each golf ball and talk about each one. And in total, it's going to take me about 25, 26 minutes to talk about 70 golf balls. So here we go. Um, mostly these are going to be logos. That's mostly what I collect, but I've, a few of these golf balls I've kept just because they're different kinds of golf balls. Let's start with the different ball type. So Bridgestone, that's the first one I've ever had like that with that size stamp, extra soft. So I assume that is a 2022 model. First one I've ever had like that anyway. Next, I wanted to show you this, Balata. Balata is a soft kind of a cover and used to get Titleist, used to do that a lot. Um, in the late 80s and you don't it's very rare to find any golf ball that says blatter on it so someone's pulled that out of the bag from somewhere next uh, RZN Tour and then that black side stamp on it and RZN Tour seems to be a, a make of golf ball so that's not a very common one next this is a beauty to have found uh, Vice Ball and it's one of these ones they're called drip i believe it's like a, a work of art they've somehow managed to get all these blue and red speckles all over the ball actually in the cover now these are specialty ones so glad to get now i've got a couple of other designs they do slightly different colors like green and red or orange and red this one is like a purpley blue and red so nice now this is good i found this one and it was actually sitting like that and i thought oh that's unusual look at that design there turn it over and it is Seed, the Jack. Seed is an Irish um, company that makes golf balls. And apparently they use recycled materials to make the golf balls. Anyway, Seed, the Jack. I looked on their website, couldn't find it. It's not for sale on their normal website. Um, contacted them via social media and they said, yeah, it's available on their Irish website. I think they said, I don't know. Never found their Irish website. Um, but anyway, uh, that's the first one I've ever had of that. So that's nice. Next. Inesis. That's another make of golf ball. Hardly ever get any of those. Tour 900. Uh, let's see the other ones. What have we got? Oh, that's just practice on a printed onto a old Pro V. Here we go. Honma. With a little, I think that's supposed to be a mole inside the O there. Honma. I've got a feeling that's a Japanese make. Don't get very many of those at all. Um, next. Indy. Another maker golf ball, very rarely get these. VT Bird. Uh, I just want to show you this one. <laughs> Found this one with a great big crack in it. That's a Callaway Super Soft. I'm going to wedge that open a bit more if I can. You can just see inside, look, whatever solid material that is. Kind of a yellow eating up. Okay, and then it's also been cut, I guess, by possibly hit by a lawnmower when it's in that kind of condition. Lift, the, lift that up, you can just see. And so there you go. That. Next, uh, Dunlop Tour Pro. You don't get many Dunlop golf balls these days. And I think that's possibly the first one I've had of that particular type. Dunlop Tour Pro. And then on the side it says Accuracy. Well, it wasn't accurate for that bloke because he lost it. Next, Loco. Another type of ball. Very rare. This might be the first one I've ever had of it. Or maybe a one or two. Um, Loco. Interesting dimple pattern. Next, Practice printed on a Callaway. That's the first Callaway ball I've ever had with Practice written on it, and that's a CB1. Um, this ball dates back at least 20 years, I think. So, even back then, they were thinking of selling these as practice balls, I guess. Next, uh, and this is the first time I've had, not the first time I've had a Titleist ball, first time I've had a Titleist ball with PTS 80 stamped on the side of it. Used to get loads that said PTS 90 or PTS 100. Um, Pro Traj Serlin is what that stands for. Um, Serlin was the type of cover. So don't know what year that ball dates to, but uh, I believe the 80 stands for, that's for people that hit the ball at about 80 miles an hour. So 80 compression. And then the other ones are designed for people that hit the ball at 90 miles an hour or 100 miles an hour. So that's a woman's ball, I presume. Next, uh, another type of ball that's pretty new to me, Bridgestone Golf, and then 
the new bit is Trio Soft. Again, I don't remember finding one of those before, so that's probably a 2022 ball. Next, Tour Edition Titanium, and that's Spalding. Used to get a lot of Spalding golf balls. Um, don't get many these days because they've pulled out of making golf balls, apparently. Which rather surprised me when I found out about a year ago. But anyway, Tour Edition, that's the first time I've had a Tour Edition Titanium like that. Um, don't know what year that dates to, but um, apparently Spalding sold up. All that golf stuff. And then this is an interesting one. It just says MD, great big M and D on it, and nothing else. There's no make or model. So is MD the actual type of ball? Anybody know anything about that one? That's the first and only ball I've ever found like that. And bear in mind I've handled and found many thousands of golf balls. Next. Right, so now we're now we're on to the logos. That was the different golf balls. Now I'm gonna do the golf balls uh, with logos. Celtic Manor Resort. Uh, it's got a little bit of a yellow stain there. I don't know if that's from a plant that it was resting on or whatever. 2022 model. Next, this is nice. Look at that. Really bright yellow. Well, Hartford Golf Club with a really nice deer logo. And that is on a tailor-made tour response. Nice. That is a very nice ball. I like that one. Next, huge great logo. This is good. I like it when they do big logos. Royal Chroma Golf Club. Chroma is in Norfolk. I've been there on holiday in the past. Uh, so it's on the coast of Norfolk, England, in East Anglia. And it's on a warbird, very good condition. Next, not entirely sure which way round this goes. So the logo might be like that. Is that supposed to be an A and a C? Or is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. Anyway, anybody know what that is? Let me know, that's on an absolutely mint condition ball. Next, again, practice printed on a Pro V1 in very good condition, but in fact, mint. Next, Cambridge Golf Society, uh, and that's on a Pro V1, very new. Next, London Golf Club. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, a bit of the paint works off of that one. That one's been here a few too many times. That's on the Pro V1. Next, um, the old course St Andrews Links, and you've got a picture of the famous bridge up there. Ignore those blue bits that someone's gone to work with a pen on this ball, and the ball is a Warbird Callaway. I'll try and get that ink mark off of there. Next, this is an interesting one. I thought when I when I first got this one, I thought grocery, a hey, groceries. Americans say groceries. We don't really say that, but I googled it, and this is a charity that helps people that worked in the grocery industry, so grocery shops. Um, I'm not sure if it's London-based or whatever, but apparently this is an English charity that helps people that have, you know, perhaps lost their job. They used to work in the grocery industry, it offers advice and stuff like that on a mints pro v. So very nice. Next, oh, there's one of those kind of crown things again that's this time it's on a uh, true feel by Titleist. Uh, I've got two or three of that particular logo. Next that's the uh, the open logo and that's on ooh, oh brilliant that's on the special one they came out with this year Titleist with number 150. It's the 150th open um, they've actually printed the number 150 on the board which is good so I've got two or three of these now as you can see this one has got a few scuffs to the logo it's not perfect condition anymore unfortunately but um that's only a few months ago that that tournament took place i can't think if it was july or whatever but it was something around then july 2022 next with compliments of bista i think you say like that bista golf shop now i think that's somewhere towards northampton off the top of my head somewhere near silverstone that sounds familiar i could be wrong a uh, ball, couple of little scuffs to it, it's not perfect, but anyway. Next, this is an interesting one. Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship. Nice enough logo. HSBC involved in many a scandal. Um, the banking giant. Nike ball, don't get many Nike balls with logos, and that's on a Nike 20XIX. So... That's possibly the first of that type of ball I've ever had. Next, 
Troya Golf. And that's on a tailor made TP5 that's in mint condition. Next, LGT Vestra. No idea what they do. And that's on a Titleist ball. Unfortunately, someone's put a pen mark right over where the type of Pro V would be on. So, uh, next. Right, I've got loads of these. I've probably got a couple of dozen of these. I don't know if they sponsor the golf tournament or what, but they seem to have given away a lot of balls with ripe on them. I don't know what kind of insurance they do. I've never seen them advertised anywhere. Next. Now, this is one that's almost impossible to work out what it says. I really cannot tell what that says. Um, there's the logo. That looks like a rose, an English rose. A couple of golf clubs. Not sure what that's supposed to be down the bottom there. If that's supposed to be holly, maybe and that's come on a, that might be a daffodil flower. No, oh, that's kind of a thistle. But then what does that say? It is actually slightly blurred. I guess whoever printed that didn't do a particularly good job. It might be that it's slightly worn as well. But what on earth does that say? I think that might say something like society. Something like. I don't know, I can't work out the first couple of letters. almost like ED, if I put my fingernail over ED and then... Does that say society? Something like that. And then of, maybe, of... And then I just cannot... Oh, something of Britain. Look, I think that last word might be Britain. Could that be... No, it can't be golf. Golf society of something... Britain, maybe. I... Oh, uh, that's on a Srixen soft feel. Very hard to make out. Annoying. Next, BTG Financial Consulting. Uh, that's on the title list. NXT Tour like that. Ball's okay. Next, Two's Club. I've had a number of these balls in the past. That one's in good condition as a logo. I have absolutely no idea what it is. And I've seen another person has asked for information about this on another... Um, golfing website and nobody can answer the, what that is so anybody know what that is please tell me next um, SWGC Centenary Seniors Captain 2019 that's on a tour softball ok next this is a good one Barbados Golf Club and then is that supposed to be is that a plane or is that a bird what is that supposed to be or is it a whale or something not sure what that green bit is supposed to be. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? What is that supposed to be? Mm, not sure. Barbados Golf Club, anyway. That's on a Wilson. Pretty good. Next. PPP International Redefining Standards. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's slightly worn. Oh, AXA. AXA, that's an insurance company, uh, or something like insurance. NXT Tour S Sport. Next. Oh, is that supposed to be an R, the third letter? War Warley Park? Possibly. Uh, that's on the Callaway. Warbird. And that ball was fairly used. Next, nice big logo, BRR. And then on the other side... Bentley Reed. Uh, I did Google this company. I can't for the life of me think what this what they do now. Uh, mint condition. I, th I was thinking like Bentley is obviously the car manufacturer. It's not cars. Whatever this Bentley Reed do, it's not cars. I can't remember what they do now. Next. Now this is one I could very easily have missed. Um, ig ignore that. I think that. Wow. Well, I say that blue and purple might be someone's ink mark, but that actually might have been part of the logo. I'm not sure. But anyway, that. That there is something which I'm going to count as a logo. AM. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an F or a T. And then maybe it was an M M Frost? AM Frost? Or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's on the title list ball. Um, on a Pro V1. Okay, not sure what that is. Not particularly good, but I will keep it. You never know. Uh, 
Next, Labour Temps. LT, I think that's supposed to be an I. Yeah, that looks like one of those little kind of forklift vehicles lifting it up. Good little design, a little bit worn. That's on the tight list. Pro V1. Next. Unfortunately, a bit worn. Something like David Adamson Chartered Surveyors and Partners. And you've got a big A as the logo. And then the interesting thing Ultra 500 distance. You don't get many Wilson Ultra Balls with logo. And you can see, unfortunately, it's rather scuffed. It's not great condition. Next, Tiger. That's Tiger Woods endorsing these particular Bridgestone balls. In fact, I saw a advert the other day on, on TV for, with Tiger Woods talking to the camera and he was promoting the Bridgestone E12 ball, I think. Um, I think it was the E12 ball, yeah. Anyway, Tiger. That's Tiger Woods. I've got three or four like that, so I've got swaps of that. Next, Barclays. That's Barclays Bank. Next, now this is an interesting one, very interesting one in fact. Let's get it the right way around. East Kent Masonic Golf Golfing Association. <laughs> Masonic, the Masons. Which some people think of some kind of like devil worshipping cult and stuff like that. Um, there's a very good TV series called The Curse of Oak Island. I recommend you watch, which uh, has stuff to do with the Knights Templar hiding treasure off the coast of America on a little island. And that's partly to do with the Masons. And uh, What's that say? Pro oh. Province of East Kent. Okay, that's what it says at the top. And then there's somebody riding on a horse on the top. And there's a castle. Don't know what that thing on the right is supposed to be. Anyway, look at that. It's quite an intricate logo to stick on a golf ball. Nice, that's the only one I've got of that. Next, Avaya. Not sure what they do, that's on the title list. Very good condition. Next, Otley Golf Club. Otley, where's, where's Otley? Um, that's on that type of ball, very good condition. It's nice. Next, Ballard's Gore. Golf Club, 1980. Don't know if that's supposed to be like a lighthouse or what. Ballard's Gore, where on earth is that? Next, now I've got a feeling I've filmed this one before, so that's what I'm saying about... I may have accidentally filmed a few of these <laughs> golf balls in the past um, because I wasn't amazingly organised in keeping the stuff separate. The ones I'd filmed from the ones I'd just acquired. Uh, I may have already shown this one. Anyway, New Star. I'm very interested to know what this one is if anybody can help me that is not a star that looks like a picture of a galaxy so that's 200 million stars i presume that's the picture supposed to be but the company new star anybody know what that is please let me know i'd really like to know and this particular strix and 8333 i can't quite date the side stamp that would help me it must be an old one it's not it's not new so anybody know what that is let me know uh that one i filmed before don't know what that is. That's on a super soft like that. That's roughly a 2022 ball. Next, Dunfermline Golf Club. Dunfermline is in Scotland. Got a bit of a castle there. Warbird Plus. That's a few years old, I think. Next, Ashbridge Golf Club. And then there's some little words there in the red. Hard to read. I think it just says Ashbridge Golf Club again. It does. <laughs> okay. And that's on a Callaway. Chrome soft like that. That's nice. Next. Oops. Bindomatic. A professional impression. And that's probably an R for registered trademark up there. Bindomatic. Never heard of them. That's on an old Pro V1 like that. Next. Practice. That's stamped onto a tailor-made TP5X. I didn't know. I don't understand how this works. Do do companies like tailor-made and Titleist do they stamp practice on balls and then sell them to practice ranges? 
But are these balls exactly the same as a normal ball? TP5X. I mean, why bother to print practice on the side of it? I don't, I don't get that. Next. Panthers. And that's on a Bridgestone ball, an E6. Um, anybody know what that's all about? Panthers. It sounds like a sports team. Next. Saffron Walden Golf Club, and that's... Um, is it a kind of a crocus, and that's what you get? And saffron is that yellow stuff that grows inside them that you use as a spice. Uh, very expensive stuff, that. Because it takes so much labour to harvest. Um, anyway, Saffron Walden. That's not that far away from where I live. Next. Four Seasons Fairway Quinta de Lago. I believe that's in Portugal. So, a golf course in Portugal. Not many to go now, folks. About ten more balls to go or so. I can never quite work out what this is supposed to say. H-C-E-G, I think. Anybody know anything about that? Please let me know. And that's on a brand new Pro V1. Uh, there's that Adcock again. I've had this two or three times recently. That's on a slightly older ball. Next. Now, this is an interesting one. Nice logo design. And once again, quite hard to work out what it says. Um, the first letter I'm not too sure about. And then the rest it says R-A-Y Arena. But what's the first letter? Is it A? Arena? Would that make sense? It wouldn't be R-R, surely. R-R Arena. Anyway. Uh, and that's the type of ball. Okay. Next. HTS Estates. I've got two or three of this particular logo now. Right, last seven to go. Heacham Manor. Hotel, restaurant, golf. Heacham Manor. That is in Norfolk towards Hunstanton in Norfolk. That's a 2022 ball. I've definitely, I think I might have actually gone to Heacham once in the past. That's, so that's kind of like the west coast of Norfolk, England. Mutual of Omaha. This might be one I filmed before accidentally. Uh, Mutual of Omaha. So American. Nice condition ball, that. That's good. For some kind of financial company, I believe. Next. MFS. Investment Management. Um, and that's on a old Pro V1 like that. Next, yet another of these. I must have found three or four of these recently. If it's the same golfer that keeps losing them, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Next. Um, now, this one, very scuffed off. It kind of reminds me of the USA being blue and red and almost like stars on the map, but I, don't, I haven't got a clue what that was supposed to be. Um, very worn off, unfortunately. And... The interesting thing, Titleist number 44. Very rare to get a number 44 on a golf ball. Um, so anybody know anything about that? Please let me know. Next. Berwick-upon-Tweed Golf Club. Goswick 1890. And that's a picture of a goose. Kind of looks like a Canada goose to me. Um, very nice condition ball. That's about a 2021 model of that Titleist ball. And the last one in this 70, another of these Adcock balls. And uh, this time on a pretty much mint condition Pro V1. So there you go, another 70 balls. Uh, mostly logos, a few of just interesting types of balls. I will say, please bookmark this in your browser. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash awesome full HD videos. Um, click like if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to me. Um, let me know why you watched the video. Do you collect logos? Do you collect golf balls? Are you simply a golfer? Let me know why you watched it and how did you find this video? How did you find it? Was it recommended to you? Did you find it on a forum, on Facebook, on Twitter, Getter, Instagram? Did someone email it to you? Was it on Reddit, Dig, Golf Forums? Anyway, any way you can, use any of those sites I just mentioned to post this link to them and uh, spread this video if you would. Uh, any comments, please leave me a comment. I'll try and read them all and reply to whatever I want. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, folks. Don't forget, I will have more to film in the coming days. I'll put this into my um, 
playlist on YouTube of other videos of my logos. I've got about 80 videos so far of my logo, so this will be, say, number 81, 82. I'm going to keep filming all the logos I own. I probably own something like 5,000 logos now, maybe five or 6,000, so I've got a huge collection. One day next year, I'm going to film the entire collection for you, so you can see them all in one go. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.